It is minus 26 right now and it's very cold and I thought it would be good to talk about cold gating again. Specifically, how does a cold battery affect your charging speed? Today, we are going to talk some more about cold gating and the effect of the battery temperature on your charging speed. So for those of you who haven't watched our first video, um, let's recap. So cold gating is when, especially during winter times, the ambient temperature becomes cold and then your battery becomes cold. And under cold temperature, the battery's charging speed is reduced, sometimes severely reduced. So that is not good when you need to charge because you have to wait for a long time. There are two significant factors which affect charging speed of an electric vehicle. One of them is, as I mentioned, the temperature of the battery. But the other one, which is even more significant, is actually the state of charge of your battery. Typically, an electric vehicle charges fairly quickly between 0% to 70 to 80%. If you charge between 80% and 100%, that is usually very slow. Let's use my vehicle as an example, the Hyundai Kona Electric. From 0% to 57% battery is where the fastest charging speed happens. And this could go up to 75 kilowatts, which is very fast for this vehicle. From 57 to 74, you can get 50 kilowatts, which is still quite fast. Now, going above 74% is where your charging speed performance starts dropping. Between 74 to 80%, uh, what you would typically get is 35 kilowatts. And when you're charging between 80 to 90% battery, you typically get 24 kilowatts. And from 90 onto 100, it will slowly taper down to an extremely slow speed up to 100. It is very important to know for any electric vehicle where that threshold is. So which segment of your battery will you charge the fastest? And above which point will you start charging slowly? So the charging curve of my vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV, is well documented. And I will put a link down below for the exact graph if you want to take some time to look at it. Let's use my vehicle as an example again. For the Hyundai Kona EV, the threshold would be 74%. And any battery percentage above that, the charging speed starts dropping. For example, if I was to drive somewhere and I use 50% of the battery, and then I decide to charge up to recover that 50% of battery, it will be a lot faster if I started with 70% battery and I drove it down to 20 and then charged back up to 70 and it will be a lot slower if I started with 100% battery, I drive it down to 50 and then charge it back up to 100 because the battery percentages above 74 will charge a lot slower compared to what is below 74. And if you use the battery on your vehicle within the range where the charging speed is the fastest, you will save a lot of time and not have to wait as long at charging stations. So we've talked about how the battery state of charge affects your charging speed. But where does temperature come in? So the maximum charging speed that you can reach at any specific battery state of charge is also affected by the temperature. It could only be achieved if the battery temperature is above a certain threshold. If the battery temperature is too low, where it is below that threshold, then the vehicle's battery management system will reduce the charging speed to ensure that the battery is operating safely. Now, as your vehicle is charging, especially DC fast charging, the battery will produce heat as it absorbs electric energy. And that will heat up the battery. If the battery is warmed up above the threshold, then a full fast charging speed will resume. If the battery fails to heat up above that temperature, well, the entire charging session will be slow. And you may ask, well, what is that temperature threshold? Which temperature is it at? And you probably guess the answer is it is different for each vehicle. 
some vehicles have a very high threshold temperature, and some vehicles have a lower one. And this threshold is totally dependent on the battery's design and the battery's chemistry. Let's use the Kona EV as an example again. So I would say this particular vehicle has a very low threshold temperature. If your battery can reach 6 to 7 degrees Celsius, well, you can get about 40 to 50 kilowatts of charging speed. And 40 to 50 kilowatts of charging speed is actually pretty fast for this vehicle. If you can achieve temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius or above, you can get 75 kilowatts, which is light speed for this vehicle. So if you are an electric vehicle owner or a prospective electric vehicle owner, uh, and you're concerned about driving your vehicle in the cold weather and charging in the cold weather, I would say it's a good idea to find out what the threshold temperature is for your vehicle. In other words, in what range of battery temperature does your vehicle charge the fastest? Because knowing this would help a lot in determining when to charge and where to charge in different conditions. So the next thing I'll show you is some footage and photos of a recent charging session that I had. A charging session that I did in minus 26, minus 27 weather to demonstrate the effect of cold gate. So I have left my vehicle outside for about nine, nine and a half hours. And during this time, the battery temperature had dropped to minus 14 degrees. Uh, as you see on this little display, the heater temperature is an indication of the coolant temperature um, in or around the heater. So the coolant temperature had reached pretty much the ambient temperature. So all in all, the vehicle, the battery, the coolant, the heater, it's all extremely cold. So I decided to go to a charging station. During the drive, the vehicle's battery heater managed to bring the uh, battery temperature up but it's still quite far below zero. And when I plugged into the level three charger, the DC fast charger located at London Dairy Mall, the battery temperature is hanging around minus six degrees Celsius, which is extremely cold for an EV battery. And as soon as I plugged in, the battery heater started up. And as the battery heater warmed up the coolant, uh, it took some time for the coolant to transfer the heat into the battery. And because the battery is large and quite dense, it does take some time for the battery to warm up. But eventually, throughout the charging session, the battery slowly warmed up, and as you can see, the charging speed also increased. So eventually, the battery temperature rise to about 5 degrees Celsius, 6 or 7, this is when the charging speed reached above 40 kilowatts, which is what I want. And with this particular charger, with a maximum charging speed of 50 kilowatts, can only supply about 40 to 50 kilowatts to my vehicle. And at this moment, the battery's warmed up and my charging speed is about as high as this charger can supply. So all in all, I would say this vehicle handled the situation quite well. Even with such a cold battery, it was able to warm up the battery at a fast enough speed to get a fast charging speed. Well, many of you would now have questions about how the battery heater works, when does it turn on, how fast does it warm up the battery. Well, all of these information will be discussed in our next video, where we will discuss what vehicles do to cope with cold weather and how do you optimize your charging sessions when you're charging in cold weather. And if you're interested in learning more about how to find your battery temperature on your electric vehicle, or about my little OBD display, please watch our first video on EV Cold Gate about how to find your battery temperature. Thank you for joining me on our second video about Cold Gate. I am Solomon, and as always, consider subscribing for more winter electric vehicle content and thank you for watching and see you on the next one